Megan with Broadway Clay and today I'm going to be showing you how to make clay tools out of household items. So the first tool that we're going to make is going to be the needle tool. So you're going to take one of your popsicle sticks and your paper clip and go ahead and open up one end of that paper clip and then we're going to be using tape to attach it to the popsicle stick. This is masking tape, you can use electrical tape, duct tape, but scotch tape is not going to work as well. So I'm going to go ahead and lay the paper clip on. I don't want it to be sticking out too far because it's going to be flimsy. So I'm going to bring it back some. And I'm going to take my tape and start in the middle. Add some to the bottom. And then the last part right up at the top. And you can add a lot of different paper clips if you want more of um, a scoring tool that's going to scratch a lot of the surface. You can also use it as a sgraffito tool. So if, you're, if you have clay that's been painted with underglaze, then you can scrape into it and you can draw onto your clay. So the next tool that we're going to make is going to be a loop tool. So we're going to use a paper clip Depending on the width of this open gap of the paper clip is going to be what design you get if you use it for sgraffito if you're carving. So I'm going to choose the smaller end of the paper clip. So I'll be carving out less clay. I'm going to take the tape, wrap it around, make sure the paper clip is right in the middle. And you don't want it too far down because you want that clay to be able to come through the loop end, okay, and so that is going to give you, an, it's not as deep of a groove as the needle tool, and it's going to take away more of the, the color of the clay. The next tool that you're going to make from a household item is going to be the rib. So a rib is a tool that presses against the clay and can help shape it, it can also help smooth the clay. So a credit card, especially one that's um, thinner, you can actually make it more flimsy and shape it. So if this was wet and I was trying to smooth it, I could bend this and smooth it around or erase what I've done. Okay, and now I can actually paint over that. So it's taking away the groove that I put in. You can also use a CD, and I'm sure you may have plenty of these around. Um, you have to use very sharp scissors when you're cutting these, but this can also be used as a rib tool to smooth. But when you cut it, it's pretty sharp, so you can actually make more of a knife tool. So it's a plastic knife tool to cut through clay, which can come in handy. And then the last tool that we're going to talk about making from home is going to be your wire tool. And so you can use floss. You can also use guitar strings. So if you have some used ones around, so the thin E string would work nicely. And so you can use it by itself, or if you want to make handles, you can use sticks. I had some crowns laying around, and so I just double knotted them on the ends. And so it feels just like a wire tool that if you would purchase it, the ends anyways. And so that's what you're gonna cut through the clay with if you have a box of clay. You can also use found objects as tools. And so this one, sewing tools are great for clay. And this will make a neat design, especially for sgraffito. And so those are just some simple tools that you can make from your house. And if you want to purchase any clay, you can do so at broadwayclay.com. That also includes the firing fee, and you can also purchase at home kits. So if you want to make something like this, the birdhouse, it's right online. <laughs>